Good evening. I am Rabbi Mark Karasik, Chairman of the Board of Sinai Schools. Tonight is my honor to present Sinai Schools Community Partnership Award to Holy Name Medical Center and their esteemed president and CEO, Michael Marin. I'm sure many of you are asking, what possible connection could there be between Sinai, a Jewish school serving the needs of special children, and Holy Name Medical Center, one of the top Catholic healthcare facilities in the state? In fact, the partnership with Holy Name and Sinai goes back over 15 years. We had recently opened up our school at Torah Academy of Bergen County, and for some of our students, the focus is on teaching functional academics and life skills. And so we turned to Holy Name and asked if they would consider serving as a vocational tra training location for Sinai students. The answer was unequivocally, enthusiastically, yes. And as it turns out, the first student to be placed at Holy Name Hospital was my own son, Avi. Since that time, Holy Name Medical Center has welcomed many Sinai students, evaluating their work ethics and dedication, and treating them like every other employee with equality and with respect. This culture of respect at Holy Name comes from the top down, and at the top is their president and CEO, Michael Marin. <laughs> Mr. Marin has placed a priority on making Holy Name a welcoming place for people from all religions and cultures. This includes providing culturally and linguistically sensitive services for individuals of all backgrounds. For the observant Jewish population, this means, among other things, a Shabbat elevator, Beaker Cholim room, Shabbat room for family overnight stays, a large, comfortable sukkah, and hospice programs accredited by the National Institute for Jewish Hospice. Mr. Marin believes on a religious and spiritual level that we should all live our lives as compassionate, sensitive people, and his personal actions reflect these beliefs. This is evident, evident in the amazing work Holy Name has done in Haiti on Mr. Marin's insistence since just after the catastrophic earthquake there in January 2010. When Holy Name physicians returned from the first of many post-earthquake trips, they reported appalling loss of life and the lack of basic medical equi equipment, including supplies and oxygen. Mr. Marin responded immediately by arranging for a life-saving oxygen processor to be donated to one of the hospitals there through contributions from Holy Name Medical Center, its employees, including Mr. Marin himself. Shortly afterward, Mr. Marin visited Haiti to be sure that the oxygen processor was properly installed and that it was running at the hospital. However, when he arrived, he discovered that the generator had been left outside, 400 feet from the hospital in five pieces, each weighing more than 1,000 pounds. Instead of overseeing an installation, Mr. Marin grabbed a pickaxe and began digging a trench and laying pipe to bring the generator inside the building. Since then, Mr. Marin has made many visits to Haiti and recently assumed financial resp responsibility for the only reliable medical provider in that region of the country, making it a subsidiary of Holy Name. Mr. Marin is a generous vocal friend to Israel. He recounts on his first trip to Israel, he was amazed to discover that in the face of daily threats to their security, the people he met had positive attitudes towards life and progress. That visit opened his eyes to how people can rise above adversity. Since that time, Mr. Marin has imported Israeli technology to be used in Holy Name, and his partner with Shari Tzedek Hospital, building Holy Name's emergency room into a disaster terrorism ready response center. If you have driven through Hackensack on Route 4 at any point in the past month, you have probably seen Holy Name's large billboard and you probably have done a double take seeing the Sinai logo up there, next to the words in Hebrew. These words come from Tehillim, Psalm 133. Hine matov umanoim sheves achim gam yachad. Behold, how good and pleasant is it for, bro for brothers to dwell together in unity. This verse perfectly describes the relationship Sinai shares with Holy Name Medical Center. We are so proud to have the same values of tikkun olam, making the world a better place by helping those who face challenges. Michael Marin, please join me at the podium to accept, on behalf of Holy Name Medical Center, Sinai Schools Community Partnership Award.
Good evening. First and foremost, uh, congratulations to all of tonight's honorees. You are far more deserving th than I am. On behalf of the Holy Name Medical Center family, I would like to thank you for this humbling honor. It is very encouraging in this day and age when we can connect with a partner such as Sinai Schools to enhance a message of hope. A message that we are all connected, all part of a great and moving plan as individuals and as collective organizations. No life is more important than another. Every life matters, and the essence of each person's heart, their purpose for being, is always best fulfilled when it takes the form of service to others, and especially those who are less fortunate. Educating those with special needs and disabilities is as noble and honorable as caring for the sick and infirmed. But what really makes both Sinai and Holy Name unique and different is the foundation that kindles our purpose comes from a deep and abiding faith. It is my hope, it is my prayer that this public partnership will ignite the good that lies in each person's heart. For this living testament of respect for all humanity to be magnified so that all will come to see more clearly that which unites us rather than that which divides us. As the rabbi said, my trips to Israel have awakened my soul and ignited a fire in my heart. They have renewed my faith and appreciation for how precious life really is how little time we have to accomplish our destiny to make the world a better place because we have lived in it. For all those associated with Sinai Schools, I thank you for being a light of hope, a beacon for all us to see faith-based values in action, helping the less fortunate, and living a life of service to others. You are an inspiration, and for that, I thank you. Thank you.